I want to show you a bit of what I'm doing with this this uh, Swedish forest axe. So it's made by Gransford's Brock in Sweden. It's a versatile small axe and you'll see me using it a lot with one hand and I can choke up or choke down, clear these uh, clear these limbs off. Some of these branches are a little bit sprung because they're against the ground so got to be careful how you take them off. Anyway the issue I have with these lighter axes is being only a two pound head you need to use more of the force. You need to put more muscle into it to swing that head to get a good good uh, impact on the wood. I prefer a three pound head or a two and a half pound head. It's, it's all about momentum. So a three pound head for felling for example or cutting, bucking this uh, log in half. A uh, three pound head with a 30 or 36 inch uh, handle on it. The axe head does all the work so you're just letting that go. Imagine three pounds and on a longer pendulum three pounds coming down on that log the axe is doing the work for you the lighter the axe and the shorter the handle the more your muscles are doing the work so you tire out quick more quickly and you end up swinging and putting more force into every every into every uh, swing and that uh, takes its toll on you over the course of a day and when it, you're fatigued you're more likely to make a mistake and have that axe come back and hit you so for that reason, just get always get in the habit of being aware with a knife, any cutting implement, knife, axe, a saw. Make sure you have no part of your body in the arc of that the uh, that tool. So, in this case, I'm getting tired and I start getting sloppy. If I cut like that and it passes through, it's going into my leg. If I swing on this side of the tree up here, taking that off, same thing follows through. Don't always assume that you're going to get a clean cut or bite into that log. If it glances like this, glances off that log, if you can see that, glances like that, it's coming into my body or it's continuing on the path that you started it on. So if that continues on and it hits you or the next person next to you, then uh, you're going to have a mess on your hands because that is shaving sharp. If I just touch myself with that, I'm cutting and I'm cutting deep. It's got a lot of weight behind it, a knife's bad enough, but two pounds of steel coming at any part of your body with razor sharp edge is going to cut deep and it's going to cause you a lot of trouble. So get in the habit of using a bigger axe, whatever your your arms and uh, shoulders and, and uh, back muscles can handle swinging. Um, let the axe do the work for you and on the finer work like limbing, you can go with a lighter axe, maybe even a hatchet with a smaller handle even and get used to the using that and just get really uh, accustomed to using your, your tools. The more uh, adept you are with your tools, the safer they're going to be.